Weirdos from YouTube. Hello. I am wearing my weapon hat. I'm wearing my weapon hat because I'm going to be talking about weapons today. Why is it my weapon hat? Because it's my weapon hat. Shut up. I've decided to take this first serious episode of Versus the Greer to talk about a rather hot topic in the world today. Weapon bans slash regulations slash laws in general. I'm going to be focusing today on explaining why gun advocates are incorrect in some of their explanations for why they should be able to own basically any gun slash knife slash whatever they want to. The next episode I do will be focusing on why gun control advocates are similarly wrong. And then finally I will wrap up the three part series with my own take on what would work. Now this is a big topic, these are just my opinions. They are subject to change if someone finds a convincing piece of proof. You can leave those in the comments. There are three main arguments I've come across as to why weapon bans shouldn't be in existence at all. The first argument is that there's this thing called the Second Amendment, and the Second Amendment says that everyone should have the right to bear arms. It's a 200 year old piece of paper that provides no support. I'm sorry. If the amendment is good and logical in this day and age, then that provides support. But the amendment existing does not provide any sort of support because the American government is very good at doing dumb things. So the fact that it's a thing being done by the American government doesn't provide any support at all. Second argument then, basically an expansion of the first idea, but more fleshed out, is that people must be able to defend themselves against tyranny from the government. Seriously? The government has nukes. Private citizens shouldn't have access to nukes. One, they can't afford them. Two, if they could afford them, there are enough crazy people that one of those crazy people would get their hands on a nuke and blow someone up. And by someone I mean like a city. We do not want a random city getting blown up because some crazy person had access to nukes. And like nukes are only the largest example of that phenomenon. There's like the fact that every single fighter plane that the American government currently uses costs millions of dollars at least to manufacture one of them. The final argument, and the most logical, is self-defense. We People need to be able to defend themselves against bad guys with guns, because bad guys aren't going to follow the gun control laws. Which is true to some extent. But there's a much better alternative. It's called martial arts. And the reason that martial arts is a better alternative than being able to carry guns is when both people have a gun in a combat, in conflict. It doesn't really matter who's good or bad. One of the people is ending up dead, most likely. With martial arts it's much more easy to do non-lethal self-defense it's still hard but it's possible and America's already kind of tried the give everyone guns see what happens lots of people ended up dead it's called the Wild West and I know that is it is to some extent fake but some of the things still happened like lots of people dying from guns we do not want lots of people dead. We want less people dead, not more people dead. So giving a bunch of people guns is not the right answer. Now, I know this video seemed rather pro-gun control, which was the point. I was addressing all of the arguments that I've come across for why guns shouldn't be controlled and defeating them the best way possible. This does not completely reflect my actual views, however, so, next video, you will get to see me defeating all the gun control advocates' arguments. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Versus the Greer. If you did, please subscribe.